Judge Engeron, what did you start? $355 million fine. Results in many things. Well, until the story turns strange. Here's where all the cases against Trump stand as he campaigns for a return to the White House. 91 cases in total. 91. What an onslaught. But he gets some support. Truckers for Trump to boycott driving to New York City after $355 million fraud ruling. Chicago Ray rallying other truck drivers to refuse shipments to New York City in wake of fraud ruling. Well, it's where things just get a little bit strange. It was trending yesterday. You see here, Boycott New York checked in again this morning. Still trending number six, Truckers for Trump. We'll show you an update here in just a few moments. But then the story goes sideways. Something changes entirely. I was shocked to read it myself, but it's why we continue to research up until time of broadcast. That's the story I'm going to bring you here today. All right, quick favor from you first. I want to see in the comments below, if there is one thing you could change about this broadcast, let me know what it is. Those comments really guide all the traffic and future information we provide. If you haven't subscribed here, make sure you do. If you're new here, double check. Make sure your bell is checked to all. It means the world to us. And if you want to support me, I need your help today. I can't explain enough what's going on in the background. Lisa Haven and I created Restricted Republic many years ago. You'll see here a community page where you share ideas directly with us in exchange on top of the catalog that has grown exponentially. It would take you months to even begin to get through the exclusive content we only provide there. And right now, very special discount code. That discount code is RR39. Put that in annual checkout. Again, annual discount code RR39. That's right. You get $39 a year for three years plus 14 days for free. That is a very limited time offer, but I need your support. I need your help today. Don't put it off and you'll see immediately after you subscribe why you made the best decision you're going to make this week. But now let's get back to this broadcast. Story starts here. Chicago One Ray. I've been on the radio for over an hour. And I've talked to at least 10 truckers who are going to start refusing loads on Monday for New York City. I talked with three guys that I work with who texted their boss and told him no New York City. Truckers are 95% Trump. And that's where the story starts. Fox News publishing this article, Truckers for Trump to Boycott Driving New York City after $355 million fraud ruling Chicago Ray again rallying those other truckers until the plot twist happens. I'm just one of the many millions of truckers who believe in God and love this country. A trucker known as Chicago Ray wrote on X, formerly Twitter. I stand with Trump because Trump stands with me. Truckers for Trump ain't just a slogan. It's real, he wrote. I'll show you what happened. To what he wrote. Chicago Ray took to X on February 16th when the ruling came down, calling on fellow truckers to boycott taking shipments to New York City. I've been on the radio talking to drivers for over the past hour, and I've talked to about 10 drivers. And that goes into the tweet I showed you earlier. No need to repeat it. Chicago Ray, Donald J. Trump, but the story centers on this man. Now, he's not the only one taking action immediately thereafter. How about this GoFundMe campaign? At the time, raising 84000 of 355 million needed. Who started this campaign? Elena Cordon, wife of Grand Cordon, mother, and an ardent supporter of American values and advocate for justice started this GoFundMe campaign. Let's refresh it to where it's at now. 431000 431, out of $355 million. It's making progress. It's going to take a long time to get that much money. The recent legal battles he faces aren't just an attack on him, but an attack on the very ideals of fairness and due process that every American deserves. Look through the cases, look through all 91, tell me how many you feel are legitimate. How many have been bumped up to criminal charges in something that would normally have been a misdemeanor? Just look at the changes, look who's prosecuting it, look at the unequal application of justice, and you'll quickly have the answer, but not where the story is today. What was the reaction to this trucker strike of New York City? I'm a trucker and I stand with the boycott. Time to show the corrupt. We run this country, not them. 
One million truckers allegedly sign on to the New York boycott. We stand with 45. That's a strong statement. It has been functional in many countries. As a matter of fact, I'm going to skip forward in this broadcast just a little bit. We see this happening in Germany. We see it happening in Europe. We see it happening in Romania, France, Germany again. The results have been powerful. So when you see these cries of boycott New York, well, maybe there's something behind it. Well, until today. What this country needs is a good old-fashioned trucker boycott of Democrat-run cities. The left needs to be reminded of who really runs this country. The heartbeat of America is pulsating again. Thankfully and hopefully, maybe, this peaceful action can result in some results or awareness of what's occurring. Liberals laugh at the thought of a trucker boycott of New York City. A few years ago, a trucker boycott brought the state of Colorado to its knees. Things can stop when supplies stop flowing. This is a very significant turn of events if it was to proceed forward, if trucks stopped. In 24 hours, what would happen? Delivery of medical supplies to the affected areas would cease. Hospitals will run out of basic supplies, such as syringes. Service stations would run out of fuel. Manufacturers using just-in-time manufacturing will develop component shortages. Those who can't carry a long inventory of supplies, which is government has made it very difficult to do recently. So if you use just-in-time inventory, you're in a lot of trouble. You're not manufacturing products. U.S. mail and other packages would cease. Within one day, food shortages would develop. Not easy for me to say this morning. I apologize. Automobile fuel availability and delivery would dwindle. Two to three days later, food shortages will escalate, especially in the face of hoarding and consumer panic. And you'll see. And if you've been watching, what is everybody stating on Twitter? Oh, get to your stores. Stock up. This is a significant maneuver. ATMs would run out of cash. Service stations will completely run out of fuel. Garbage will start piling up in urban and suburban areas with nobody to take it out. First week, automobile travel will cease due to a lack of fuel. Hospitals will begin to exhaust oxygen supplies. Second week, the nation's clean water supply will begin to run dry. Fourth week, the nation will exhaust its clean water supply. Illness will increase, further taxing an already weakened health care system. Again, significant impacts and not for one week or two weeks or three weeks or four weeks truckers are talking about not delivering to new york city for three years now is that ever going to happen of course that wouldn't but that's what's being discussed besides truckers talking about not delivering to new york city there are apparently some shipping companies joining the protest but does the protest exist we'll find out today exactly the impact of the protest because again something changed many warn people to stock up on food in new york because truck drivers will not be making deliveries in support of trump it all started with this video from chicago one ray go to watch the video it's gone this page doesn't exist try searching for something else so i did And we went back into Chicago, one Ray's profile, and see what occurred. Just to be clear, he states, I'm no figurehead of any movement. And I'm not leading, nor have I encouraged, or am I encouraging anyone to do anything other than what they were doing prior to the ruling on Friday in New York City. I'm just a trucker who heard chatter and posted it on Twitter. Nothing, nothing more than that. I've been asked to go on several podcasts as well as a GoFundMe, which I have declined. But earlier, he stated he had gone on a podcast. Something changed. I look forward in your comments. What do you think changed here? What do you think happened? Why do you think all of a sudden a complete 180? There's good people in New York City. I've got family there. Trump will win this sound appeal and will be vindicated. Let's ratchet it down and let the process play out now. We're all Americans, and although we may not agree with the way Trump is being persecuted, there's a lot of people who have nothing to do with this that could be harmed, which would be a truth. We're truckers. We do what we do. 
We worked through the pandemic. Let's keep goods and services flowing as scheduled, and our voices will be heard loud and clear this November. God bless America, God bless Trump, and God bless every trucker in this country. That is a very well-prepared statement. He covered all his bases. He retracted allegedly what was initially implicated by his statement. No one asked me to post this, he goes on to declare. Not this, not from this platform or from government. I deleted that video on my own. My decision, no one else's. Again, very well prepared. I did so based on what I see as being misinterpreted by some to cast me as a leader of something that I have no wish to be nor will be. Just to be clear, again, no figurehead. Below stated, Joe Moore. Let's be clear, Ray reported hearing chatter. He spoke with friends. He did not start this. He did not recruit or advise. Some truckers organically decided on their own because we're angry. I don't want some prosecutor to punish Ray. Well, I guess there in comes some of the truth now. Why the sudden change? Why the removal of the video? Everything over night shifts. As is always the case with any time the right attempts to do anything. Everything adjusts. Ray is on record encouraging normal deliveries until the appeal process overturns its ruling. Let's not throw Ray under the bus, but it, to me, it appears someone scared him. Something happened. A statement was made. A phone call, a text, a message. We'll never know, will we? But a sudden and well-scripted adjustment to the original story. If truckers start denying loads to certain regime-controlled cities, it's going to get spicy, and it would. We went through how many how effective this has been in foreign countries. We showed you now how many on Twitter jumped aboard. And another post. As I am recording, this post was deleted by the post author. As I am recording, because when I had this stage just a few minutes ago, there was a post there or else I wouldn't have it up on the screen. And you see, trending right down here below, still is truckers. So there appears to be a lot of interest here in the United States. A lot of people feeling this was a very unjust ruling. Someone allegedly coming up with some peaceful action to make sure people understood, changing their course entirely overnight. So I look forward to seeing your opinions on what occurred. I think I have my feelings because I know what happens to us day in and day out. My friends, I promise you this. It's an ugly world out there. You got to have real thick skin to make it through doing what we do to bring you the information that matters. And I just hope Chicago won Ray. It's all right, man. You had an idea. You talked about it. Just take some solace. You're not alone. We've received the same things that I think you received. And my friend, I know it's hard. Trust me, I know it's hard. We created an entire second platform just to be able to bring the truth to people. It was a lot of work, a lot of our own personal money, a lot of our own personal time. Nobody helped us pay for it. No sponsors, no advertisers, no nothing on that channel. No, it was just the blood, sweat, and tears of Lisa and I to create it. But it's necessary, it's needed to wake up so many that don't still don't see what's happening before their very eyes. We'll continue to fight just like you. Appreciate all you tried to do. Understand more than likely what happened. But brother, we're praying for you. And for all the truckers out there, we pray for you every day. Thank you for what you do to keep this country running. Happy President's Day to all of you. No, I mean that from about three years ago backwards. Because what's happening here is absolutely unacceptable. I love you all. Until next time, Godspeed and God bless Justice Knight. Signing out.